GameStop mania has highlighted a shift to dark trading. It's another. This kind of has a crypto tie-in in my mind. Uh, you know, the, the Robin Hood blow up all the uh, various stock trading apps and the retail investor, as you heard so many times throughout this GameStop uh, investing extravaganza. The way these sites work, Willie Do, is these a lot of these transactions, they don't actually take place transparently on an exchange. It's private transactions. So when you buy something, buy a stock, let's say, on Robinhood or one of these platforms, at least in the case of Robinhood, that deal is being executed by companies like Citadel, who you kept hearing them come up on a Wall Street bets as well. They're looking for uh, transactions for their buyers or sellers, hmm. and they're skipping out on, a, on a, a public exchange in order to do so. Now, that's existed for a really long time, but the question here is scale. How much of the market is uh, transactions are happening on the exchange and how many are in the dark? Mm -hmm. And this is where we get to this story here, a record. 47.2% of U.S. equity trading volume in January was executed outside public stock exchanges, which was up from 39% a year earlier. So big-time increase over there, which is showcasing the move for the average investor towards these, these new platforms. It happened for the first time December 23rd and three times in January when off-exchange volume actually hit 50.5%. So actually, more of the market volume taking place off the public exchange as opposed to in. So that's a significant shift right there. It showcases the it showcases the uh, attraction towards the platform, but it also showcases uh, a possible apprehension a possible threat to those investors that are buying off market or off the exchange where they're kind of they they maybe could be exploited maybe they are paying a price when buying or selling that is not actually competitive with the market Mm -hmm. It's not since it's not happening publicly. Like, what are the incentive structures here on the dark side? On the dark side, <laughs> there's a lot of play that can take place. You know what I'm trying to say yeah. here? Like the market, like the exchange sets the value publicly. Like we can all agree. We were just talking about crypto. Like the blockchain in that in that example remains public for transparency. When these transactions are happening in private, and the average stock traders are trying to buy or sell fifty or hundred things quickly there there could be slivers in there slivers of margin i don't know the legalities around it so i'm skimming but you have to wonder yeah about leverage and and leverage and volume and 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 where these transactions are taking place so for example that's something that takes place in the u.s here in canada all trades must be executed on exchanges it's a, it's a regulatory thing. So it's not like this takes place absolutely everywhere. Hmm. But I don't know that it's going to slow down. And we may actually see an increase in this even more so as time progresses and as trading moves to the smartphone and as trading yeah. moves to the app. But it's not without its risk or consideration mm -hmm. that these deals, the back, these are backroom deals going on here at huge scale, massive mm -hmm. scale. 